Hello YouTube, Todd here with Great Escape Farms. Today I am working on a lawnmower. This lawnmower worked one day, I had it out, I was mowing. Next time I went to use it, a couple of weeks later, it was not working anymore. So I am troubleshooting it to figure out what it is. The first thing I'm gonna do with troubleshooting is figure out, is it an electrical problem or a fuel problem? That cuts my problem in, or the direction that I'll go in half. So in order to test that out, what I will do is I will pull the spark plug out, I will crank the engine with, with everything set so it can come on, and I'll explain that in one minute, and look for spark. If there's no spark, it's an electrical problem. If there is spark, then with the plug out, I'm going to smell and see if I have gas coming into the chamber. If I do not, then I need to look for a clog in the line or something with the carburetor. If I do, then I need to check the quality of the gas. Could be water in the gas line or something else that is just causing uh, poor fuel to come in. And that's again, if I have spark. So the first thing I have to do is figure out if I have spark or if I do have spark, if I'm getting fuel into the cylinder itself. So in order to make sure that I have spark, one of the things that most lawnmowers have now is this little gadget right here that it, you pull it back, you have to have this pulled back and you pull the crank to get it going. If you let go of this, it's a safety mechanism. It automatically stops. That way you can't get in front of the lawnmower or anything else. So in order to bypass that, what I did is I already put uh, a tie, wire tie on so I could try to do this one-handed here. There. So that kind of bypasses this mechanism. It holds it on tight. And as soon as I'm done, as soon as I get this thing running, I'm going to remove this because it is a safety mechanism. So don't bypass the safety mechanism and operate it that way. But for testing it, this is the way I have to do it because it's just me here. So that way I should have electric. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up on the tripod and I will remove the spark plug and show you how I'm going to do this. Okay, the first thing to do for removing the spark plug is to remove the wire. It should just pull right off. And then you get a wrench, and this is 13 sixteenths for this particular plug, and that's fairly universal. So the, actually, this one is specially made for plugs. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's like a little black rubber washer in there that helps hold the plug in. So push that on, some on, and there we go. And I loosen it up. So then we check the plug. I do have gap there. I do smell fuel there, so I know that I have had fuel in the cylinder recently, which has probably been since I've been pushing it. Now, if you notice, this is plastic up here, and I'm not going to get conduction and we'll, uh, a good connection there. So what I have to do is have metal on metal contact to the frame. So what I did is I brought over some uh, jumper cables. And each side has red and black. It doesn't matter which one you use, just make sure that you use the same one on both ends. So I'm gonna go with black. So I put black on the outer rim of the spark plug here, and I'm gonna put black on, on the case itself. So I have black to black. So now, and I already, uh, have the electrical part up there bypass the safety so when I pull on the string here from right here I should whoops, it would help if I pushed it on all the way okay and, and as I look around always there is no spark whatsoever so it could indicate a bad spark plug that would be the cheapest thing so we pull this one off and it just so happens that I have a brand spanking new spark plug here so I put this spark plug on, hook my black up, and I do the same thing here. So I give a pull on it, and again, there's nothing. So it does look like it is an electrical issue, and with my face up right by the cylinder, I smell gas coming in, so I know I have gas, I know I do not have spark, so this is an electrical system an electrical issue I'm going to test out or troubleshoot and move on from there. So in order to do anything else electrical, it's all up under the hood here. So I'm going to have to go ahead and remove that. So I'm going to go ahead and start dismantling this top part here and I will uh, tune back in in just a moment. Okay, we're back. I went ahead and I loosened this up. I just want to show you it coming apart here. So this piece comes off. 
There are several different bolts and stuff on here. You have to take uh, a bit of the oil cap off and this comes up and this is where your pole chain connects up. So don't mess with that. That is under tension and can cause you some issues. You do have to take the fuel can off and just kind of lay it off to the side. And if you notice, the entire ignition system is this one piece right here and there's one wire that goes off and connects up right here. What this green wire does is that connects up to the safety mechanism up on top and it shorts it out. It connects ground to this and shorts it out so you don't get a spark. So that I'm not getting a spark. That could be one of the things that's wrong. So I disconnected this wire, connected everything up, tried it again, and I still had an issue. I was not getting spark. So the way this operates and gets spark is this flywheel here goes around and these uh, kind of like a magnet here it goes through the solenoid. Actually, it's not a solenoid. It's a it's kind of like a transformer and it generates a spark on here going through so I could have issues with the wire it could be internal here I doubt that it's the magnet here that would be highly unlikely so let me reach around here and for I think it was $18 on Amazon I went ahead and I picked up a new one of these so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and we'll just give it a try I'm not gonna mess with it too much as far as how close we get here uh, my glasses are up there but uh, without looking at the manual I'm gonna go ahead and just put a feeler gauge in here and spec out how far away it is because if you notice these are adjustable right here if I do not get a spark off of this I'll go upstairs and I'll get the actual measurement on this to make sure I'm getting the right spark uh, to make sure I have the right distance to get spark I, I think as long as I'm close I should get it but we'll see so what I'm going to have to do in order to actually, no, I don't have to remove the flywheel for this. So if I remove the flywheel itself, then you can see this other mechanism right here, the safety piece. But I, in order to get this off, I don't actually have to remove that. So I'm going to go ahead and not remove it. And I'm just going to go ahead and take this off. Is that this one? Yeah. Well, I already messed up and I didn't measure how far off it is. So I'm just going to estimate it. And I will have to go up before I button this thing up for good and measure off how far away we are. So, remove that one. Put this one on. I really would do best without the magnet right there sucking it in on me. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up and put it all together and give it a test. And also in the meantime, while we're on break, I will uh, go ahead and measure our distance here. And make sure that we are back far enough. Although actually I am back as far as I can go and there's just a hairline, but it's not touching, so. That might work for me. Uh, nice sight. So I'm going to go ahead and button this up and I will come back with you after I check the specs, get it measured out, and get it put back together. Okay, I swapped the electrical piece out here. I did not find online the measurements. So what I did is I took a, a feeler gauge. I don't know if you can see the measurements there, but that's uh, 0 0.022. I believe that's 22 thousandths of an inch and I went from the center piece here to the where the flywheel was I measured it off here and hooked everything up and I have spark I really doubt that you can see that from here as I pull on this but I, I have spark so I went ahead and hooked it up real quick and checked it out and it did start right up so my issue might not have been this it might have been distance because I had more than 22 thousandths of an inch so I will go ahead and keep this and I'll just write a little note on it as questionable and throw this into a, a box of spare parts and uh, if I ever have issues with this again I'll go ahead and you know, give that a try for right now I just don't feel like messing with it so I am gonna go ahead and button this thing back up and I'm gonna use this to mulch up some leaves and bag them so I can run them out to the farm and put them around so 
that's it for this episode. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and also check out our blog post at greatescapefarms.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.